We're on the uh, Sunday before Christmas, uh, preparing for a Christmas carol service and things like that. So I'm going to attempt to get a better shot of the original stop jams from the uh, front of the console as it was in 17... 05 ish and through to 1717 when it was installed and it got moved uh, the console got moved in the middle of the 19th century by Holditch to the uh, where it is now we'll just see if we can get this I showed last week the uh, stop jams which was too dark you can see the holes but hopefully if the torch is good enough we'll be able to see some of the markings on here so uh, top we have the uh, Cremona uh, principal trumpet 15th 12th uh, a cornet echo diapason and another cornet at the bottom there's three manuals so uh, with echo organ on the top the top manual so you can see what's uh, What's going on there? So if I just put my finger against it, you might not be able to see, but they're actually slightly bigger than I expected. But you, you easily fit a finger through. But uh, so that's the front, and then on the other side, I think we have a problem in that there's a, a wooden pallet over over it. So I'm going to see if we can get that removed and see if the uh, writing is there on that side as well. I don't actually know, but this is normally. Uh, you can't normally see this because there's a board in front of it usually. So this is the uh, front case from the scaffolding. The the big scaffolding that was here last week has been taken down now because we don't need that. We'll get some smaller scaffolding up for the uh, art work restoration. So the woodwork's all been restored now and hopefully uh, we'll have a better shot of the uh, the casework, so this is the, the left hand side case, you see we have a cherub in the middle, uh, amazing artwork that you unfortunately obviously they can't see from downstairs because you just go down to the uh, pipes because it just looks like nice artwork but you can't actually see the detail which is why this is quite uh, well, very interesting to get the close up and then the next, the smaller pipes in the middle. Uh, which, it, which is just decoration, or very nice decoration. Then onto the centre pipes, we've got five central pipes. So in the middle of the central, of the left-hand one, we've got this cherub with a trumpet type instrument. Um, and then halfway up the top, the central pipe, we've got the coat of arms of Queen Anne, which is the one I hope we can take out, or when it's out, uh, for restoration, we can get a a good um, uh, a good photograph of, of it because it goes around the uh, if I just go on the other side uh, uh, it goes around the pipe so um, hopefully when it's out we can get a, a sort of panoramic view of it all um, and then you've got all the, the detail on that. Then just going down to the the, the the bottom of the pipes here, this is, if you just point at the bottom there, this is the problem that we didn't know existed until the um, the scaffolding came up, in that you can see that the bottom two or three inches of the pipes have been re replaced in the 1960 restoration, and the uh, the metalwork is, is not strong enough, so it's sagged. You can particularly see on that one that we were at a slight angle. So you've got about two or three inches worth, and they will need to be replaced again, even more on the on the left hand one. Um, so that's that's work to be done, and then the usual some of the decoration, and then it's again match decoration over here on the left hand. We've got the cherub again. In the centre, You've got all the art, the, uh, the amazing uh, carvings on the uh, on the front case, which is it's all in the, because the, the organ's still in obviously in the gallery, it never gets touched, so it's all in immaculate condition. 
as it was in 1705-ish. We go into the bottom of the pipes here. There's there's a couple more actually that one there that's uh, the base has been restored and replaced. So this is the, the the view from the and then if we look down here, you can see where the console is. Um, uh, around there. In the in the sort of shelf just underneath the pipes there, there were several um, lots of dirt and a skeleton of a dead bat, which has been removed. Okay, and then we get the uh, have a shot of the uh, shot of the church. So there won't be anything happening now till um, after Christmas. We've got these the side aisle with the um, with the pipes in and the Christmas tree. Um, so the, the next stage, well, lots of work happening at the workshop in, in Norfolk. The next, one of the next stages will be sorting out these front pipes, the base of the front pipes, and then the artwork being restored. And that will happen, uh, I imagine, in, in January now. Um, I'm determined to get a good photograph of that coat of arms. And you can see, so from here, if I was looking down, it's probably too dark, but this is where we, we were just pointing below, which is where the, uh, the original console was, just underneath the front of the organ. It's a bit dark, I know, down there, but that's where it, it, it would be, and that's where we were just looking for the, at the stop jams uh, on that pole, just there. And we'll see if we can get, get that. So just, I'm just looking at those front pipes again to give you an indication of uh, size. Your handy mug, just here. That's the sort of size at the bottom there. So it's only a couple of inches. Uh, to your average size mug. So we will report back um, after Christmas. If you just do a close-up of that, of the front pipe, you can see the chiffy, the markings on the front front pipe on the lip. Uh, and that's, it's those markings that affect the tone quality of the uh, pipe. Okay, so we'll report back after Christmas and see, see how things are.